Hello, everyone. It's William here at Allegory Gallery, and today we are going to take a look at some of the Allegory Gallery fine pewter line. So oh, today's going to be a quick one. We can't diddle dilly dally here too long today. Um, if you're not aware, Andrew is going to be doing a video following this at six o'clock um, Eastern time here um, with Softlex. He is going to be working with some other wonderful beaters um, along with Sarah over there at Softlex and they are going to be showing off their love is love kit um, with their beating with friends time. So I have to be done with this by six o'clock, 5.55 we're aiming for. So um, we're going to do a quick one today. But before I leave you today, we're going to tell you about another broadcast that we're going to have coming up tonight. And I think you're really going to like that, hopefully. I hope. Um, so that's going to be happening. Um, Janet was going to ask about Love is Love. So that's going to be happening immediately following this broadcast. Um, they should be doing it on the Softlex page. I'm sure we'll share it to our page. Um, I think they're going to do it in the in the TGBE group as well. So um, make sure you tune in for that. Uh, like I said, that's going to start at six o'clock. So I have to be done here. We're going to be done at 5.55, um, maybe even earlier. We'll see. Showing you some of the Allegory Gallery fine pewter line here. And then later tonight, we're going to have another live. It's a live, live, live day. Um, so we're gonna have our live now. Andrew will have his live with the Softlex gang. And then we will have another live coming up later tonight. And I'll tell you a little bit about that at the end of this video. So stay tuned, right? We're learning. We're gonna try and make you wait till the end, right? So um, yeah, hello, Marianne. Hello, of course, Janet was out there. Hello, Harry. Hello, Donna. Thank you for tuning in. So, like I said, I'm going to show you some of the fine pewter line. I'm going to show you um, the various uh, finishes that some of these things come in and hopefully show you some that you may not have noticed before or seen before in our site or that we've shown you before. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to get right into it because we have to we have to make this short today. All right. So thank you for joining in. Please remember, hit that like. Hit that love if you're on Facebook. Um, if you're on YouTube, please subscribe. That would be awesome. Um, hit the thumbs up and make sure on YouTube, hit that little bell. That bell lets you know. There we go. Sound interference. Am I back? Hopefully I'm back. Um, I turned off my Bluetooth. Hopefully you can hear me and not anybody else in the car. Um, let me know. Let me know in these comments if you can hear me again. Um, let's see who else is here. Um, ba -ba -ba. Yes, I can hear you. Good. Thank you so much. I'm back. Good. Yeah, Andrew jumped in the car, which is right outside this um, wall, and our car automatically connects to my phone's Bluetooth. Um, so you were probably either hearing car noises or not hearing me at all. I don't know. I don't know what happens. Um, somebody's saying it's hot where they are, Alabama, central Alabama. It is hot here. It is 90 degrees um, here in Ligonier today. Um, that's a little bit much. That's a little bit much. Our air conditioner in the store is not working well. So we have to talk to the landlord about that because it was hot in the store today. It was hot in the store today. Some people say it's chilly. Oh my. Um, still windy and very cold. Marianne says up in Canada. Yikes. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. So, um, I kind of wish it was a little windier and chillier here. 90 degrees. That's too much. Um, too much. And it's humid. It's very humid. You can see by my hair. 
my hair is like not standing up like it normally does. Um, so that means it's hot and humid. All right. So like I said, we're going to get started with looking at some of this Allegory Gallery fine pewter. Hopefully these are some I've not shown you before. I tried to pick out some that you may not have seen yet. Um, some may be repeats if you watch these often, but I tried to pick out, you know, there's like 200 some. So I just pull them at random and um, things I like, which maybe I'm pulling the same thing sometimes, but hopefully not. Um, so bah, let's get started. All right, let's get started. Every time I do this, my phone doesn't sit right. I don't know why. It looks fine when I'm on the other way. Our noisy, noisy little screen. Or, or stand, I should say. Let's see here. You can see the top of my head. There we go. There's the penny. That's what we want to see. Yeah, it's hot. I think are a lot of places around the U.S. here. And um, too hot. Too hot too early. I don't know. I know it's summer. But please, can't you take a break, summer? That's, that's, I like those 60, 70 degree days that you were having. I like those much better. All right. Hello, Shelly. Thank you for tuning in. Hello, Robin. I'm glad you're here with us. Sylvia is here with us. Terry is here with us. Let's see. Anybody I missed? I hope if I missed you, I think this is Sandra, Facebook user. Um, still probably having issues with, with StreamYard syncing. Hello, Suzanne. Thank you for tuning in. Donna says, I'm already dreading August, right? Yeah. Aren't we all? Aren't we all? All right. So let's see here. Let's start taking a look at some of these AG fine pewter beads. Now, if you don't know where to get these, I put the link in the description of this video, um, allegorygallery.com. Go to the shop tab and you can see the allegory, ugh, the allegory gallery pewter collection. It is fine pewter. So there is no lead, no cadmium. It is um, wearable safe. And here is one of the designs I want to show you today. This is a gecko. This is a, a dual gecko bead. Um, the hole goes here to here. All right. So we have a dual gecko. I think this is super cute. I don't know if I can get it closer and still, and still focus. So hopefully you can see that. Dual gecko hanging out together on a bead. This is in the antique um, gold finish. The antique gold finish. Um, this also comes in the antique silver and the antique copper. So most of the beads I'm going to show you, I think all of the ones today are available in all three finishes that you're going to see today. Um, so you can pick when you're on the online store, there's a drop down and you can pick whether you want the antique silver, the antique copper or the antique gold. Um, for dimensions and actual sizes of all these items, um, all you have to do is go to their listing on the website and scroll down because there's a there's a gap between the add to cart button and the description below. And if you're on a certain size screen, you don't actually see the, the listing information down below. So make sure you scroll because we did put sizes in for nearly all of these beads and toggles and clasps and pendants. So um, it should be there if you need to know the exact dimensions. All right. So Donna says the gecko is so cool, right? So cool. And most of our AG fine pewter beads are only from about, I think they start at like 75 cents or a dollar and go up to about $5 at the most. So all of these are in between that price range generally. Um, some of the very large toggles I have to show you today might be a little big or might be a little higher, but um, generally they're super, um, you know, super good priced, I think, priced really well for the quality that they are. We're very happy with his inventory and we hope you are too. Harry says it shows very well. Thank you so much let, for letting me know. I never know sometimes. It looks good on my screen, but you never know how it comes across. All right, so that's the gecko bead. Donna says they are worth every penny. I think so too. I think we could have actually raised the prices more, but you know how we are. We're not going to cheat y'all. So if we get a good deal on stuff, so do you. And um, now when we do go to reproduce these, Remember, get in now while we still have inventory. Once the inventory starts to dry up and we have to look at reproducing these, the prices will definitely go up because the prices of metal all over are much, much higher than they were when these were made. All right. Next up, 
This is in the antique silver finish. Oops, I have it upside down. And this is a cute little fish. The hole goes top to bottom. And this is a cute little fish in antique silver. Now I gotta keep an eye on time because I have a lot to show you. And um, hello Deb, thanks for tuning in. I have a lot to show you and I wanna get through it all before 5.55 p.m. today when Andrew will start his um, show with Softlex and friends. Um, beating with friends for the love is love kit that they have out Is the gecko bead too heavy to be an earring? I would say no. These are pretty light Like there's a little bit of weight to them. So if you're super You know if you're super um, what's the word sensitive? Maybe but I would say I, I don't think I don't think I would mind that on my ears And the fish is even lighter. So there you go you know, it's hard for me to judge because I don't wear earrings, but I'm going to say from everything that I have seen in the, the amount of earrings we've sold, I'm going to say that's not going to be too heavy. But like I said, to each their own, because sometimes uh, people are more sensitive to that. Next up, Elephant Friend. Donna says, I use the mermaids in the earrings and they aren't heavy at all. This is probably around the same weight. It's probably about the same amount of metal as those, those mermaids. Here we have an elephant. We have a number of elephants in this collection. This one is kind of, kind of just taking a taking a seat, right? It's like the thinker elephant. <laughs> I think this is really cute. This is in the antique gold finish as well. Harry says the fish has a great smile. It does, right? It does. All right, so that's the elephant, and the the bead hole goes top to bottom on the elephant. All right, and these are, I'm going to say the elephant has a, is a little bit heavier than the gecko because it has some mass here, a lot more mass to it. Next up, one of my very, very favorites is this octopus. I, I can't tell you how much I love this octopus. This is one of the, the, one of the beads that I saw a preview of before we purchased the line that tempted me to really buy this line. Like I was all in on it because of some of these beads and this is one of them. The hole goes top to bottom on this. All right, the hole goes top to bottom on this. And you can see down here, there are also holes down in the tentacles so that you can dangle things from them if you'd like to, all right. Deb says they're great bracelet vocals, right? They are, all of these. Very cute, very, very cute. The details on the octopus is pretty amazing. It is, right? I love this octopus. Love, love, love it. Now, I think, I don't know for sure. I haven't tried. Do I have wire here? I don't know if I have beading wire here. Mm, you would think I would, since all of Andrew's making stuff is around here, but I think we moved it. There might, there might be a hole that goes through this way, but I'm not 100% sure. I think the only hole is down through the top and out the bottom, and then you have the extra holes. It's easier to see on this side, maybe, that come out of there. <gasps> Excuse me. Suzanne says, I've made earrings um with that i've made earrings with that i don't know what that is i don't know which one with with the octopus if you've made earrings with the octopus the gecko is definitely not too heavy what gauge wire would fit in the octopus these are fairly large holes um let's see i have right beside me 22 gauge Twenty-two gauge fits through, so you could definitely do twenty-two gauge. Um, it's a little bit tight toward the bottom on this, on the twenty-two gauge, but you might be able to get. I don't know if you get a twenty gauge through there or not. Suzanne says I use twenty gauge, so there's your answer. Yeah, I don't know if you'd go much over twenty gauge. Um, this is twenty-two, and it's tight in one spot as you get down toward the bottom. Really, it's, it is very at the bottom where it gets tight. 
Okay, but Suzanne used 20 gauge and accomplished it. And if you can use those for earrings, you can pretty much use any of these for earrings, right? And I should have brought out, um, I should have put prices on these. You can find them on the website. Um, like I said, generally the prices are really good, I think, on these. Um, most of them are less than $5. Um, some of them are just like $1.25, things like that. So um, I think good prices on these. Now these are in antique silver and they're kind of just, I don't know what you call this design, um, but I love it. I think it's a cool little hashed kind of hash mark. Uh, Harry said Peter also drills very easily. Yes, if you wanted to make the holes bigger, you could get your drill in there and work that out. Thank you, Harry, for the tip. I think these are cool. They're just, you know, decorative little, little almost like etchings. And um, they're sold individually. Everything I'm showing you, I may show you more than one, but they are sold individually because we wanted you not to have to be locked into any higher price by buying in larger quantities. So you can pick the quantity you want. And these are in the antique silver finish as well. Next up, we have these little kind of lantern beads. I love that kind of wave design on there. This is in the antique gold finish. And the holes, you can see the holes there. And I'm gonna assume, oops, I'm gonna assume we're gonna definitely get, yeah, easy easy to put the 22 gauge wire through there super easy um, so much larger than that so there are those i like those the plating on these for each one there's not a significant difference between the um between the colors in weight um, it's so insignificant that we didn't have to change weights to tally up online shipping um, so it is, they are nice thick coatings. I have not seen any of these. And some of these are many years old. Um, we bought old stock on these and I have not seen any of the coatings like kind of flaking off or anything like that. So um, we've had a number of people, a lot of people already making things with them and we have not heard anyone have any issues with any of the coatings. So they are thick enough that um, they're not, you know, it's not coming off just for i think that's something maybe sandra out there i don't know maybe it's not you um but somebody out there was asking that's why i was answering that i know i'm getting bad at showing um comments sometimes so i'm trying to remember to do that we have another octopus how about this one how about this friendly little octopus with all its tentacles all wrapped up whole again top to bottom and that's really cute that one is actually less heavy than this um i would say because it has all these cutouts. And I don't think, I'm just looking here, there aren't any extra holes to really dangle anything from. I just wanted to see. It is Sandra, thank you. So there you go. And remember, all the sizes, I'm just showing you in it with a penny here, but all of the sizes to all of these beads are listed in their description on the online store. And if you've come across one that is not listed, please let me know and we'll get it listed, all right? Just remember, you have to scroll down sometimes in the listing because there's a blank spot if your screen is of a certain size. My laptop happens to be that size. So every time I load our website, I don't see the descriptions until I scroll down. Yeah, it is a cutie, right, Susie? I think so. It's a cute little, and that comes in the silver, copper, and antique uh, gold finishes. And then we have this large skull. We have some smaller skulls too, but this one is particularly large. This I would not have in an earring. Um, that is definitely much heavier than, than the octopus. This is a weighty, weighty one. And so the hole goes top to bottom on this as well. You can see it's a pretty big hole. Got a pretty big sized hole there. Um, the 22 gauge slips through like nothing. So um, shouldn't have a problem with that or even 20 gauge, I would assume. And again, all of these um, come in the antique silver, antique gold and antique copper finishes unless we sell out. Remember, these are all at allegorygallery.com. I should put that up there, shouldn't I? There we go, allegorygallery.com. You can get them now. 
Um, if you make things with us, please, please, please tag us, tag us. And if your if your account, like on Instagram, I know some people. I think Suzanne is one of them. Um, if your account's set to private, we can't share on our stories and we can't share the posts. But um, if your account is open, we can share your posts and we gladly share your posts to our stories on Facebook and Instagram so that you get more recognition that way too. So if you're a designer that sells things, designer who sells things, um, that might help you get some more publicity on your, your works of art, right? Next up, we have another fish. How about that one? That's a cutie. I like this fish a lot. And he has a, he or she has a very good smile. We'll say they, they have a very good smile. And this is super, super cute, super light too. This is the antique gold finish. Um, again, comes in the antique copper and the antique silver as well. Only one sided. Um, so you could do earrings with this, um, but I know some people don't like it when it's only one sided for earrings. <coughs> Excuse me, but it would be a good pendant too. Donna says, I always tag y'all on Instagram and y'all have shared my pieces before. Yes, we gladly share. Like I said, it's really good for those of you out there who make things. Um, you know, we don't have a huge following on Instagram, but we have almost 8,000 followers on, on Facebook and our stories hit both of those places. We try to hit both. So um, definitely if you want some, you know, some publicity from us, tag us when you make things with our products, especially this pewter line. We need you to use this. We need you out there to be making things so that we can share. Um, you know, there's only so much we can do and make ourselves. So the more you all help us with that, we'll be glad to give you some publicity that way. It helps all of us, right? Okay, finally, something in the antique copper. I haven't shown you any antique copper yet. We have this little love pillow and the hole goes top to bottom on that. It says love on both sides. And this is the antique copper finish. It looks like that penny, right? It looks like that penny. So this is those little love pillows. Anna says, and I very much appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. And I hope that it helps you. I hope that it's helping you, you know, reach out to more people than you would normally reach out to. That's the whole point, right? Share and share alike and help each other. Next up, these kind of origami boxes. I used to make origami boxes like these. Um, so I don't know if that's what the design idea was, but it very much reminds me of that. The hole goes corner to corner on these. Corner to corner. So there's one and whoop, it's hard to see. They're little, my hands are too big. All right, so they're kind of like these little origami boxes. I love these. They're a great little piece to use as a spacer or to dangle from an earring just to add a little interest. Maybe you just want kind of a minimalist earring, but you want a little bit of interest, that'll do it for you, right? I think that's great. And then Donna, I know, used some of these to make earrings out of. So these are the guitars. There are two different, I think just two, two different guitar um, pendants in the AG Fine Pewter collection. This is one of them. And I love it. Um, and if you haven't seen, Donna made some really, in the Allegory Gallery Design Challenge group, if you're not in our Design Challenge group, join us on Facebook in that group. And Donna showed off some of the earrings that she made with these and they are spectacular. So grab some guitar pendants, make them into earrings, um, or use them as a pendant. We all know musical people in our lives, I think. I know I definitely do, and they probably appreciate stuff like that. Next up, I may have shown these before. I just love them. And Donna says, I love the guitars. Also use the gold and silver lava beads. Yeah, the gold and silver lava, the electro-plated or electro-coated lava that we have in the online store. They look really good with all of these because they have that silver, um, copper, and gold coloring. So you can use those really well. These are dragonfly little uh, disc beads. And the holes on these go that way. All right. So like that, like that, 
or you can have them flying down, heading down like that. There you go. The hole in the silver fish, Sylvia, goes top to bottom. Top to bottom. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know about you, but my allergies are making me crazy lately. Um, my allergies are really bad. So if you hear me coughing and sneezing, it's because I am like severely allergic to something. My eyes, I'm trying not to be on camera too much because my eyes are so red and itchy. Just not easy. Just not easy right now. Okay, next up, we have these wonderful little petal beads. They look like flower petals. And they go on like this. So I should have brought more over. But if you set them together, they can actually overlap in your design if you want them to. And they can look like that. Or you can put them in your design like that. Or you can just give them space like that. So I love these. Um, they, they're sold individually. You can buy as many of these as you need to to make up your designs. Um, but I think they're really super useful. And just, you know, if you love that little quirkiness sometimes, right? They add a little bit of quirkiness, I think, to pieces. So we have those in all of the finishes. Uh, Shelly said, uh, bad year for allergies here in Canada. Yeah, it's been bad everywhere, I think. Um, today the pine trees were poofing pollen clouds, the height and breadth of the tree. That's insane. And pine, I believe, we had pine trees growing up where I was, and I think I'm highly allergic to pine. So I try and stay away from pine trees. Um, I did some allergy tests, uh, uh, some of those skin prick tests. And the only thing that came back, I don't know if pine was on it, but ragweed definitely came back. Um, and... <laughs> right now, there's a lot of tall grasses around that are just going nuts. Here are a few more skull beads. I said we had a number of different skull beads. These are another one. I love these large eyes. These look like Halloween to me. Like these definitely um, look like kind of Halloween type beads. And the holes on these go top to bottom as well. All right. So those are in the antique copper finish. And then we have a Buddha head. Hello, Susan. Thank you for tuning in. You're late, but hello. That's okay. Um, we're doing quick today. If you just tuned in, this we're going to try and end this by 5.55 because Andrew is going to be on live with Softlex and friends um, with Beating with Friends for their Love is Love kit. So do be sure to tune into that at 6 p.m. Eastern time. Um, that's 3 o'clock on the Western Coast. If you're out that way um, and they will be doing their live immediately following this broadcast and then I'm gonna tell you at the end we have a special announcement we're gonna be doing another live for you all coming later tonight um, I y'all like that pearl sell down so we have we have something else going on that's like that and I will tell you more about that at the end of this video so stay tuned these tree and moons, I think I've shown these before. I think I showed them in antique copper before, but this is the antique gold. And look how beautiful and warm those are. So it's a tree and moon or tree and sun, right? Either one. Hole goes top to bottom on these. And beautiful light. You could use a pair of these for earrings. I just happened to pull a pair of them. Some of them I pulled more than one, but everything is sold individually. So you can decide. Um, you can decide how you use or how many you buy. Right? Makes it easier that way, I think. Now, I know somebody was asking about moons the other day, and I can't remember who it was. Um, we don't have full moons. I looked through everything, uh, but we do have this crescent moon. Whoops, that's kind of in a full moon shape, right? So we have these with the man and the moon. And the holes on these go sideways. <coughs> Excuse me. So the holes on these go like that, go sideways. And now I'm seeing, I think my wire is just bent up a little bit. So maybe the octopus really wasn't having much of an issue. It might've just been a bent wire at one point. Susan was about the moons, yeah. I thought that was the case, but I didn't want to say it just in case I was wrong. 
So we have the man or the woman in the moon, right? Non-gender specific. The moon does not have a gender, I think. So <laughs> we have the man or woman in the moon. Um, and we have it done in the crescent, but it's in a full moon shape. But we don't have a full moon done with a face. I checked into that just to see, just to make sure. But I wanted to show that one in case you missed that one. Next up, just these cute little curvy, you know, wild little pillows. And the holes go that way. Oops. Harry said, I have a pair of those trees and just ordered many more of these pewter pieces a minute ago. Thank you so much, Harry. I saw the order come in. We really appreciate that. We've been doing a lot of shipping today. So we've been refunding shipping a lot, um, combining orders. And we're actually, we were in the negative today. So that's one of the reasons, um, you know, we like to do these lives to hopefully entice you to purchase some things because we were going to, we didn't want to end the day today in a negative amount. You know, we do our best to combine shipping for you all. Um, and we did so much today that it put our numbers into the minus. Um, so we, we, you know, you don't like to lose money in a day, but we also make like to make sure that you all. All right. So there you have these. These are just nice little pillow beads. Here we have this kind of dragon, <coughs> excuse me, have this dragon design. Marianne says, yep, got lots of refund notifications. I bet you did. <laughs> there were a lot of refunds happening for you today since we combined everything to ship up there to Canada for you. So these are just little dragon, cute little dragon with this little fiery breath. I keep dropping these. I'm like a klutz today. Fiery breath dragon kind of just a sketched dragon it's kind of cute actually so there we have those in the antique gold and i'm going to pull away some of these that we have two of because i'm running out of room and we don't need two of everything in there right let's just make some room here for some other things because we've got more to show you all right we've got more to show you and i want to make sure you see them all There, we got some room. <coughs> Donna says, oh heck, I want those dragons. Aren't they cool? I kind of like when things are like semi-primitively sketched like that. I like the look of it. You can see the fire breath, the dragon tail, it's just cool. All right, next up. We have the three-faced Buddha bead. We have some of these much larger in the online store and in the physical store that have four faces, but these small ones have three faces. So there's kind of happy, kind of sad, and angry. <clears throat> Donna says, yes, they are cool, but I broke until next week. I hear that. I hear that. Well, these things generally, at least you know, are going to be around, right? For the most part. For the most part, they should be. And just trying to get this through here. You can see the hole goes that way on these. Very, very cool. Available in copper, silver, and gold in the antique finishes. And then who doesn't like a peace sign? Just a simple peace sign, hole goes top to bottom, available in, this is the antique gold, also available in the antique copper and the antique silver finish. All right, not much to say about that, just a nice peace sign, great for earrings. Now, some of my very favorite, <clears throat> check those out. Susan says, I got the larger version of the multi-face Buddha from AG from us years ago, turned it into a hanging ornament. Yeah, we still have a few, just a few of those left. We're starting to dwindle on those, 
Um, and I think we have some in the online store. You look up Four Face, you should see that there. Um, <clears throat> and they're available in the um, in silver, gold finish, and I think an antique, a deep, deep, deep kind of copper, almost brown finish. These are cast badger claws, cast badger claws. And the holes on these go side to side like that so that you can hang it so it would cut someone, right? You better not say that too loud. I'll get banned from Facebook like Andrew did. Um, <laughs> so they hang like that. So if you put a big jump ring in them, you could hang them the other way if you wanted to hang them, you know, another way. But um, Harry said, I grabbed some of those claws. Really cool. Yeah, these are the badger claws in antique gold finish. We also have, where are they? I just grabbed a bunch of these. Sometimes it's easier to grab a bunch. Coyote claws. These are coyote claws in the um, antique copper finish. And the hole goes through there the same kind of way. So this is a set of five of the coyote claws. So the badger claws for a size, <coughs> Susan says, I don't want to argue with that badger, right? Look at the badger claw next to the coyote claw. Crazy, right? So let's see, we don't need two of those out there. Let's put these claws together down here. And these are nice. You know, we do have um, things like this in the physical store, especially these next ones. These are <coughs> cast coyote teeth. So you have the coyote claw and you have the coyote teeth. Um, we do have actual bush coyote teeth in the, on. I, I don't know if it's in the online store. We have them in the physical store. Um, but in case you don't want to do the actual thing, and we do get them from tribes um, who find the animals or um, use every part of the animal. We're very careful about that. Um, things aren't killed just to have their teeth. But um, I know Suzanne says I have those too. Yeah, Suzanne used these um, in some of her pieces that she designed. These are the coyote teeth. I know they look just kind of like it's kind of like an arc, right? That's what they do look like. I should have brought a coyote tooth in from the store, but <clears throat> look them up. That's what they look like. <coughs> Sorry, I'm going to take a drink. Suzanne says, you have coyote teeth. Real, I'm emailing you. Yes, we do. Like I said, I don't know if they're in the online store. Um, if you look up coyote in the online store, they might pop up. But a lot of times we don't put the teeth and bones necessarily in there because they get banned because they're animal parts or parts of animals. They don't allow that. So it makes it hard. But we, we do still have, I think, some coyote teeth left. All right. Let me get these out. <clears throat> Next up. <laughs> the coyote teeth look like bananas, says Diane, right? They kind of do. They kind of do. All right, next up, we have this large toggle. You can actually see that the uh, antique copper finish is patinaing on this, or patinating. I learned that word. Um, I always used to say um, to patina something, or it patinaed, but it's patinate, to patinate something, or patinated. For those of you who didn't know that, um, I'm never corrected on here, so um, I guess that's kind, but um, I did learn that, patinate. So these are patinated or patinating on here. So that it's a nice finish, right? And copper actually does that. <clears throat> so this is just a nice giant toggle um, in a beautiful design. That's all. Not much more to say about that. It's large and in charge though. Large and in charge. And speaking of large and in charge, here is another one. <clears throat> Here is another one. So there's that. Molly says patinated. Never ever heard that either. See? I know. Because somebody said that at the conference we were at, that it was patinated. And I'm like, what does that, what are they talking about? And I figured it was patina, but I always thought it was patinaed. It was patinaed, but it's not. It's patinated. So here's this which would go great, I think, if you had something with these in it, right? They kind of had that same kind of etching design. 
So there you have that giant toggle. Let's put this over here. And the last thing I'm going to show you for now, for today, since we're getting close to the end, is this beautiful, gigantic leaf toggle. And so this is the other piece. I'm, I don't know if this is a bamboo leaf. This kind of looks like a bamboo stem. Maybe it's a bamboo leaf. I don't know for sure. <clears throat> but this is giant. Giant. That's a big toggle. And so you have the large hook here and the hook there. And up through and down. All right. Those are some of the largest toggles we have. Um, <coughs> excuse me. And hopefully you like that. Hopefully you like those. Um, Harry did. Harry grabbed some. Thank you so much, Harry. Um, if you'd like to get any of these, they're at allegorygallery.com. Just go to the shop tab and go to AG Pewter Collection. Um, and you'll see all of them there. You can take a look through. And <clears throat> even though the photos may, the photos only show one color of everything. Sometimes it's the antique copper, sometimes the antique gold, or sometimes the antique silver. But each of these pieces is available in all of those colors. You just use the drop down inside the, the listing. So you got to click on the listing. There's a drop down that you'll see, <clears throat> and you can choose. Um, you can choose which color or which uh, finish you want. Harry says the big leaf could be the focal. That's right. You can always use a clasp as a focal piece, right? So you can hang it at the bottom. So your necklace goes around and hangs down to here and it latches that way and hangs, hangs down. Um, Andrew often designs with toggles of this size and uses them, <clears throat> um, you know, kind of, if you have the necklace here, sometimes up on here, like on this part. It doesn't have to be at the top or at the bottom, right? It can also be on the side. You can you can toggle clasp on the side. These are pretty enough to show off. So don't hide them behind the neck, right? Don't hide them behind the neck. Show them off. That's what they're for. <clears throat> Molly says, I grabbed some pewter in my order that shipped this week. Looking forward to getting it. Thank you. And do tag us, tag us, show us, send us pictures. Um, you can send us pictures at info at allegorygallery.com. <clears throat> if you don't have social media or you don't want to tag anybody or your social media is, um, uh, you know, locked up so we wouldn't see it if you tag us. Um, but you can always send us um, info at allegorygallery.com. Send us emails that way. Or you can go to the Allegory Gallery Design Challenge group on Facebook. <clears throat> there we go. Facebook.com slash groups slash Allegory Gallery Design Challenges and become part of our group and hang out with us and show off the things you make. All right. So let me go ahead. I'm going to flip this camera around real quick again. Well, not so quick, semi quick. I'm getting a little better at this. <coughs> there we go. Let me raise this up and back up a little bit. So that's it. Look at that. I made it with 10 minutes to go. I can sit and chat with you for like 10 minutes if I want to. Um, <clears throat> so I did mention that we have Andrew coming up next with Softlex. So we will try and share that to our page. Sometimes sharing between pages is weird, but we're going to try and share to our page, our page, so you can see that. We are also, I'm sure it's going to be in the Great Beat Extravaganza, I would assume. Um, so we'll share that. He's going to be working with Softlex and a few other BD friends um, for the Love is Love kit that Softlex has put out. So hopefully you'll join us for that. And then after. <clears throat> so this is what I was talking about. You have to wait till the end. After that, um, that's probably going to take about an hour or so. Um, but at eight o'clock tonight, we're tuning it in eight o'clock. Um, that's 8 o'clock Eastern, 5 o'clock Pacific time, and any time in between that for all of you out in the middle of the country. Um, we are going to um, be doing another sell-off. <clears throat> so y'all liked the pearl sell-off. We sold almost all those strands of pearls. We only have two or three left. Um, if you're interested in those, let me know. Um, send us an email. But we um, thought, hey, you see all this check glass behind me? There's a lot. There's a lot of check glass behind me, to the side of me, in front of me. We have a ton um, in Andrew's bead room. And I say Andrew's, it's our bead room. But um, 
This is generally where we pull from to make kits and things. Some of this Czech glass is old, right? Some of it's probably vintage at this point. Um, some of it's more modern, but all of it is beautiful. And so I, I, I came in here and I don't know, you know, Andrew was kind of okay with it. He wanted to have more of a hand in choosing, I think, than, than, uh, than he has. But I have come in here and I have pulled one strand of a lot of this Czech glass. Now, not all of it. That would be impossible at this point. And I'm going to continue doing that here over the next two hours or so. <clears throat> and I'm going to pull some strands. And we are going to do a Czech glass sell down, sell out, whatever you want to call it. Um, we'll say sell down because most of these are not sell outs, I, but <clears throat> we're selling down. We're getting, we're, we're, we're reducing our inventory back here. And so we are going to have um, some good prices, some really good prices on some check glass strands. There will only be one strand per lot. We'll do them in lots. There will be one strand per lot. There are not multiples. I'm not selling multiples of any of those strands because these back here are to make kits. And, you know, some of this may end up in your mystery boxes and, you know, future mystery boxes and things that we do, um, mostly kits. Um, so I didn't want to take too many of any of this one strand. So there's one of each strand. We're going to do a sell down on them. We're going to give you great prices. We're going to do it just like we did the pearls. You're going to send us an email. Um, you're going to send us an email. <clears throat> Let me just put that up here. You don't need it now, but <coughs> excuse me. You're going to send us an email with the lot numbers you want. And you can send us, if you want 50 lots, you can send us 50 emails. We will take those emails in the order that they arrive and you can purchase them if you win that lot. Um, win the rights to purchase, I should say. And hopefully you'll like this. <clears throat> I've been pulling some Czech glass that I've never seen some of these designs before. Um, and we're going to have, like I said, really great prices. Um, Deb says that's a great background for the backdrop for the live. It is because you'll, you'll see why it makes even more sense if you stay tuned for the Softflex um, live. So um, I just happen to be giving you a sneak preview. Um, so we're going to have great prices on some beautiful Czech glass. Like I said, some of it's vintage, some of it I've never seen before. Um, probably stuff a lot of you out there have never seen before. So if you want to get some great prices on some great strands, stay tuned. Eight o'clock tonight, Eastern time, five o'clock Pacific, we are going to be doing the Czech glass sell down. <clears throat> so it's going to be quick. It's going to be fast and dirty, as they say. Um, hopefully not too dirty, but we're going to, I'll show you the lot number. Um, you'll have the chance to purchase that by sending us the email. Like I said, you have to kind of act quickly on a lot of these. A lot of people unfortunately missed out on some pearls um, because their email wasn't first. Um, so it's the first person that gets us the email with a lot number in it that you want. And um, I'll go over all this again, but for those of you watching, um, it will be you know, we always say if you send the email with the lot number in it, be willing to purchase it. Like we don't want you to send an email for every single strand and then say, oh, I want these two. That's not how it works. Because <laughs> um, that's a lot of going back and forth and saying, oh, no, they don't want it. Do you still want it? It gets messy. So if you send an email, we expect that you definitely want it. Um, it is hard, I know, because you know you're not going to win everything most likely. Um, <clears throat> you can't win everything. And I know it's hard because you don't know how much you might end up winning. Um, so just consider that as you think about it. And I'll go over this all again when we start the live at 8 p.m. tonight. Um, <clears throat> but for those of you out there I know who watch us regularly now at 5, um, we just want to let you know that it's happening. I'm going to take some pictures and put up a post about it um, so people know to tune in. Um, hopefully we'll get a bigger crowd since it'll be a little bit later in the evening. I know these live at fives, this is five o'clock here, what, five, four, three, two o'clock on the Pacific. That's like people are still at work. Um, <clears throat> so even at five o'clock, people are probably just getting off work in a lot of cases. So we're thinking eight o'clock tonight should be a pretty good time um, for people to be able to tune in. Um, 
Pam says, I wish I had time to watch and buy this move to Colorado is a lot of work. I'm sure moving is never fun. I don't know anyone in my life. Um, I don't know anyone in my entire life who likes to move, not a single person. So I don't envy you. Um, <clears throat> hopefully my weather and anxiety allow we should be under the gun by then silly storms. It's hard. It's hard out there. Now you can't always watch the rewatch, but on these sell downs, it, things go quickly. Um, so I do encourage you if you can watch live to watch live. Um, I do recommend watching on YouTube. I know some of you only like Facebook, but YouTube, you can rewind and you can fast forward to the current point in time. So if you miss something I said, you can quickly remind, rewind, get the lot number and go back and, and fast forward at any point in between there. Facebook is not so easy to do any of that. <clears throat> um, they don't let you rewind during the live. I don't think, I don't think they're doing that yet. Um, and if you pause to go, you know, take a potty break, um, you have to jump right to where the current time is. Whereas on YouTube, you can continue watching from that paused point. Um, so you don't miss out on anything. Um, so I do, I know YouTube's great. We like YouTube. Um, so hopefully you'll all be watching. Um, <clears throat> Marianne didn't get the pearls you wanted. Oh, well. It's how it is sometimes. You gotta act quick. You gotta be quick, quick, quick like a bunny, as my mom used to tell me when I was when I was young and didn't, you know, um, didn't like to um, take a shower or get my jammies on for bed, she'd be like, just do it quick like a bunny and then it's done. So it's going to be like quick like a bunny. So like I said, tune in again. Make sure you watch the Soft Light Show coming up at six. Um, hopefully Andrew gets back here soon. <laughs> and then um, stay tuned. For us, again, live tonight at 8 p.m., mark it down. Give yourself a reminder. Tell Siri to remind you. Tell Alexa to remind you. Tell Google to remind you. 8 p.m. Eastern time, we are going to go live with the check glass sell down. So, you know, there's lots. I don't know if you've seen the check glass in here. I don't want to show you too much. Almost every wall surface is covered in check glass here. So <clears throat> make sure you tune in. All right. And we'll see you. I will see you again live at 8 p.m. tonight. All right. Thank you also very much for tuning into this. I hope you like the AG Fine Pewter collection, and I hope you found something in the online store that you like. <clears throat> um, Helen said, my mom said quick like a bunny too. Nice. So remember, help us get out of the negative. We just refunded tons of shipping today um, because we're combining orders like we always try to do for you, and we actually lost money today which is not the way to be when you're a business. So please help us with all that. Tune in at eight o'clock today, buy some check glass, buy some allegory pewter collection pieces and show us what you make and tag us online when you do. All right. And I will see you back here at 8 p.m. tonight. Bye now, everybody.